70% of Machakos County is an agricultural county. Um, the land is agriculture. On top of that, um, agriculture is major activity because 70% of the employment comes from agriculture. Despite the great potential of agriculture in Machakos County, climate change, especially unpredictable rainfall patterns, remain a constant threat. Farmers here are compelled to explore ways to increase drought resilience. The Agricultural Sector Development Support Program, ASDSP2, has been securing livelihoods in the face of harsh climatic conditions. The program has been supporting the mango, cow milk and poultry value chains, working with a network of approximately 5,300 value chain actors across 40 wards within the county. One of the beneficiary groups is the Sweat is Sweet Youth Group in Mwala Sub County. Established in 2014, the group encountered challenges mainly caused by climate change. They started working with ASDSP2 in 2021, leveraging their farmer managed natural regeneration or FMNR skills for land rehabilitation. Katika hiyo hiyo project walikuwa wamesema kama kuna yeyote akona akona any innovation yenye inaweza kusaidia katika any of the three value chains anaweza anaweza andika proposal so hapo niliona katika dairy value chain naweza andika hiyo proposal ya ya FMNR yenye nilikuwa nimefunzwa so nilia niliandika alafu baada mzuri tu ikaenda through the program provided the group with 300 pangas, 30 sharpening files, 300 pruning saws, 150 secateurs, 132 jembes, 100 mattocks, 60 pick axes, 60 rakes, food grade milk containers, and 10 motorized brush cutters. These tools have significantly streamlined their daily production processes. The group has increased pasture production, resulting in higher milk production among its members. Wakati niliingia katika hiki kikundi na nikajaribu kutembea naye, nimeona mabandiliko ya ulishaji wa ngombe za maziwa. Huwa napata lita 9 asubuhi jioni 6. Na kuno na ingine nauza. Nilipoanza kuuza maziwa nilipata shingi Furthermore, Abanas, who also serves as a service provider, trains farmers both in and outside the group. So far, we have more than 100 groups. We have trained Mambo FMNR, to the same to Fauti, we have trained Pia, after Kwanza na Umuradi. We have to say that member has to be the same. Na siwa FMNR peke yake, kunajua FMNR sana sana si kupanda. Sasa ukianza kupanda inakuwa, ise, nye, iko anda FMNR lakini sasa tunaita ni enrichment planting. Kama unapanda miti e, katika ile sehemu iko njangwa, ile iko, iko na gali sama ile imekuwa eroded. In addition to supporting the dairy value chain, the program has also made strides in the poultry value chain. In Kathiani Ward, for example, service providers like Jane have been training value chain actors on sustainable poultry production. Tulifunza sana mambo ya production. Fikundi zenye tulikuwa tumezajiri siliweza kushika. Tulikuwa na fikundi nane. Kwa hipo kwa kila ward tulikuwa na fikundi mbili mbili. Beleni tulipokuwa tunaanza fivo pia piparanga vilikuwa nyingi sana sababu wa mama ni wa shangwe 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 kwa hivyo akiona kila mama anamwambia ah kuja hapa na funganga kuku anaenda hata mbira kukanyanga the, the water bath kwa hivyo uchafu ulikuwa unaingia kwa shamba kila wakati fivaranga zinaanguliwa zinakufa to further enhance poultry production, farmers were introduced to various climate-smart innovations 
that have reduced production costs. The nyungu ni metengeneza eh, ya kuweka ya brooding eh, na inatumia iso ekonomiko e, ukiweka makaa tuseme kama ya um, shilling 25 iyo ukiweka saa kuminambili after saa kuminambili ya subui itakuwa e, itakuwa na makaa iyo makaa bado itakuwa imeisha ya pili nina innovate kama hizo feeders ninatumia bao mbao moja naweza enda kama 50 wanakukulia hapo na utatukutumia pesa nyingi ukienda kwa nduka utanunua almost 7 uh, 700 and something na hiyo inachukua 450 Sabina's flock has grown steadily over the years with ASDSP2 interventions and training she has now become a service provider imparting valuable knowledge to other farmers nilianza na kuku 100 of which ilikuwa 9500 miezi nikauza na moja nilikuwa ninauza na 600 nikaendelea mimi nika commercialize eh, my farm eh, from there uh, ili nisaidia kwa sababu walikuja waka identify some innovators eh, wale wanaweza ufunza wale wengine kama service provider nikawa appointed na ili nisaidia juu at a moment nime training more than 3000 wa mama wengine wameanza na wako sasa hata wanashukuru sana hakuna kuomba umba still in kapiani we meet joseph nzioka in the mango rich region of kaiwa ward his mango farming venture faced many challenges, including lack of markets, high prevalence of